Right, folks. It's been a while since I've been here. There's Black Rock there, look. Over there, just above that humpy bumpy bit, is where the alipacas are. Now, it could be there's cows out still. I'll tell you why they're keeping the cows out as well. It's because the grass is growing. But over there, that's where I, I go up the a slope there, walk through, wander through the Hobbit Wood, down into Black Rock Valley, past the quarry and then I go round to Piney Slights. But I'm not doing that today. Today is more of like what I call a recce. And I actually think I can see cows. I'm not sure, it might just be a black... Yes! It's a good job I had decided not to go there. I can see... I'll just zoom in. No, it won't zoom, will it? Yes, it will. I can see... Somewhere there, I can't see because I've got no viewfinder. Somewhere there, there's a black cow. There, look. That's where I would have to walk if I don't decided to carry on that walk now. Yes, there's a herd out there. Let's hope there's not one in here then. Yeah. Now normally this time of year, I just got to keep an eye out in case there are any up here. Because the, the cows I normally meet in here are pretty frisky. Yeah, there's a herd. But over the other side where that herd is, is where the wacky aki alipacas are. Yeah. Wow, so you can't do it anyway, Sheila. They might still be out next week. Because it's going to be mild. They might have a herd now that they stick, that keep out all year round. There might be a herd now. Now you know I've really missed walking here. Uh, well, I was I was feeling bereaved when I didn't have the one to six. It was like something was taken away from me. Freedom. Uh, although I was free, I was still restricted. And I really felt I was being deprived from cheddar and the hills. I really, really did. I felt, I was starting to feel quite upset by it. That they'd taken that bus away from me. <sighs> what I'm saying, because the weather's milder, they're not putting the cows away like they usually do. There's a big herd in there, but there's often a herd in there. No sign of cow pack here. I'm not going all the way down to the gate or anything. I'm basically just going to come a bit further along here, then I'm turning back. <coughs> because the sun's nice in the sky at the moment. I'm a bit wheezy. And there's lots of other walks to do from now on, including <sighs> West Westbury Sub Mendip. I'm just keeping an eye out just in case there are any cows. For example, say the gate was open here and they could get in here. <coughs> what I've got to do in a minute, I'm going to stop, have a puff on my inhaler and then I'm going to check the map and the time. <sighs> just want to go a bit further along. <sighs> this to me is still blissful for what I'm doing. This is like really good to be able to come out here and do this. To be out here again. It's freedom again for me to be out here. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to do that today, even if I'd wanted to. I'm just going up a little bit further, that's all. 
I'll get some pictures of those cows. <coughs> they put all these big black cows out now I noticed. I don't think they're about, I can't see any sign of cow pack. But there's black rock there, black rock wood and nature reserve. <sighs> yeah, all these humps and bumps, I don't know if it's from mining in the past. I used to do a lot of surface mining, see? Round here. I just feel great just to be here in this particular spot as well. I've often said to myself, I wonder if I'll ever get out here again. I really thought that was it and I was never ever going to be able to come out here unless I got transport. Oh, it's so great. Yeah, I can see the herd. Yeah, they usually, by January, they're usually away. I mean, whether they're going to take them in after this next warm patch, I don't know. They've spotted me over there, but I can't see a way for them to get in here. And I can't see any down there. Definitely over there. Oh. Yeah, I just feel free, folks. Just stood here in this beautiful place as well as great big mast, the Wells Mast. Oh God, it's great. All right, over and out. I'm taking, keeping some for the gorge. Over and out. Oh, there's some gliders up there, folks. I don't know if you can see them. The gliders are out. I don't know if you can see them. Right, over and out. Right, I'm walking. I've left that lovely little track. It's a good job I did do a little recce eh? because I've spotted the cows. So it's a good job I did a recce eh, today. I wouldn't go that way anyway. I wouldn't have gone that way. I would have had to have gone across the the middle something reserve and uh, which also means in the week I won't be doing it I'll do the reserve instead Just right, really, what I'm doing now is get back for that bus, two bus. <sighs> I wouldn't be there for quarter past, just in case. <sighs> I don't normally ever go back that early, but uh, this is enough for the first visit after. I'm a bit wheezy today. The hill really got me coming up. Oh, I just remembered why I never come up here. <sighs> it's one of the steepest climbs here. Coming up there. I mean, it's with the gorge. It is a steep climb, but it's it levels off a lot. And then you stop and take photos. Like over there, we've got... Um, Rupert Warren, look. I'll just zoom in. I'll be over there a lot soon. Yeah. Now there's more, if you like, buses available. Over there, I've got a choice of buses.
I've got a choice of bosses over there. Because <sighs> I'll have the Rington bus, which is the 125. And I'll have the... The 126. Coming from different places. But they pass through Sanford and Winscombe. And Banwell. Those are two buses that will pass through there. Right, I'm coming up to a... I came through there about half an hour or so ago, through that stile, after climbing right up. Now I've got to get through this muddy patch. And I start, this is where I have to be careful. Oh, there is somebody coming. I have to be careful. Because. It'll be dodgy going down now. Just turn off for a minute. 